Today's craft is going to be a frog in a jar. We'll start with a nice little twig from the last big rainstorm. Break off a couple short pieces. So I buy these small little one ounce packs of Model Magic. If you're making something small, you can use the whole pack at once, and this way none of your clay dries up. I'll make a ball, and then shape it kind of like a bowl. Now pinch it around the end of one of the twigs. We're making a little mushroom, so let's paint it red. I don't even wait for my clay to dry, I just paint it right away. And it actually coats really well on the Model Magic. This part's kind of fun. I like to use a stubby pencil eraser to paint polka dots. Look how perfect these come out. We'll set it aside to dry. Now let's work on the lid to our jar. Take the rest of that Model Magic and form it onto the top and sides of the lid. And while the clay is still mushy, I'm gonna paint it brown to make it look like a pile of mud. I have this little froggy that I cut on the Cricut. It's a little piece of cardstock so it's very light and flexible. I've got a cup of Elmer's glue and a scruffy brush to use on the glue. We're going to paint a little patch of glue inside the jar where we want our frog to be. Then we'll stick him inside the jar and if your hand won't fit inside then use your paintbrush to help you. We have a lot of glue left over so I'm adding a couple drops of food coloring and making a neon green glue paint. Now I can use the green glue to paint all over the inside of the jar. While the glue is drying, we'll finish our lid. Stick the mushrooms on there. Add some moss. A couple rocks. Now that our green glue is dry, I can throw some polyfill into the jar. And I'll use the pencil to shove some silk leaves down along the side of the jar. We want it to look like he has some little plants in there with him. Now we turn on our fairy lights and enjoy!